from Caleb's Aviation, and today I'm heading off to the Ann Arbor Airport to take another flying lesson. It should be pretty fun. We're going to be flying to Jackson, my home airport, so it'll be pretty interesting. Let's see what happens. Also, we have to pick up a special guest. I'll tell you more when we get there. Let's go. Got my logbook. Got all I'm going to need. There he is. Hello. Ready to roll. <laughs> right, so we've arrived here at the Ann Arbor Airport. I'm flying today with my friend Simeon. Woo. He's got a YouTube channel too. If you're interested, I'll link it above. I've flown with him before, and I'll put in some scenes in a minute, but we did not have enough video for a full-length video, so today we're flying over to Jackson, flying from here in Ann Arbor, and we'll get right to it, so let's go. Last time Simon and I went flying, we took 203 Golf Tango, but as I mentioned, we didn't have enough footage for a full video. Our ride for today would be this 48-year-old 1973 Cessna 172 Skyhawk, registered as November 572 Romeo Juliet. If you remember if this red plane looks familiar, it's because it's the same plane I took in my first flying lesson, which I'll link above if you haven't seen that video, and it just happened purely by chance that we were taking the same plane today. But pretty soon we got in the plane and began our taxi out to the active runway. But there was a lot to see out there. It was a busy day in Ann Arbor. Like I mentioned, it was a busy day at the runway. We waited here for a minute, but then once we got our clearance, we got onto the runway and off we go. After a quick and uneventful 15 minutes in the air at about 3,500 feet, we reached Jackson and prepared to land. I've been to Jackson hundreds of times, but I've never flown into it, and for me, this was very exciting. I also got to talk to my friend Dave, the controller, as he guided us in and we landed. After a quick little landing at Jackson, my friend Dave called us up, told us to go back out to the runway, and we took off back for Ann Arbor. Pretty soon, we switched off to our next control station and left Jackson behind. After another five minutes in the air, we were soon back in Ann Arbor and ready to land. Once we arrived in Ann Arbor, I taxied us back to the hangar and we got ready to put the plane away. 
sadly, this flight was coming to an end. Once we arrived back in Ann Arbor, we put the plane away, I filled out my logbook information, and we got in the car. And just like that, the world is a little smaller. Woo! That was a really fun flight. It was really cool to see Dave. We flew over to Jackson. Now we're gonna figure out some lunch. It was an awesome day that I'll never forget, and I'm pretty sure neither will Simi. If you haven't checked out his channel, I'll put it up in the corner, and I'll also put a link to the playlist of the flying lessons. But until next time, wishing you blue skies and tailwinds. Oh, 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 oh,